So this is what the wire generator currently does. Bunch of cables all flowing together in the same direction. And yeah, there's a lot of settings we can mess around with, like aligned and uh, Oh, vector. Oh, yeah, I'm messing around with the code. That's why it doesn't work. Don't worry. Point is, it would be cool to have a completely different flow pattern. So I added network here and does this. So a bunch of child objects all linking to the active object instead, just like a network. And it doesn't look too interesting now, but once we turn on gravity and maybe hide our overlays, we can get some very interesting results very quickly, which is kind of the point of this add-on. And a quick reminder, this is not available yet. This is just things I'm working on currently. But yeah, I think it would also be cool to have a completely different, well, not different, but similar a sort of pattern where all of these are connected to each other as well and not just the master. It'd be like a, some sort of web. And that would make an unholy mess of things for sure, but think of the art. And um, I haven't coded this yet, but I think it'd also be nice to have like a shortcut here where you select just one of these little gravity volumes and then just, uh, right click select all volumes in the system so I don't have to manually select them like this. And the reason I'm not selecting the curves when I drag select is because I have curve selection turned off. So if I turn that off when I drag, it grabs them as well. So I turn that off temporarily just to make it easier to do that. But yeah, uh, that's the next thing I want to add, I think. Wow, that's strangely erotic for some reason. Okay, anyway, uh, what else do we add? Oh yeah. So uh, this is like minor, but I think it's cool. Oh yeah, we're gonna need to select our curves here for this one. So wire generator, we don't want network, we want gravity, and we want to align these in the Z axis. So when you have things aligned in a specific axis, but all of your objects are in a very similar uh, Z height, then you might get issues like this, where some cables find a better route going upwards and some going downwards, or depends on the axis that you're using really. So this could be the effect you want, and it, it looks kind of cool to see them pop one at a time as they find a better route in the other direction. But I think in most situations, you'd want all of them to flip together, which is why I'm gonna add a new default option. So it's gonna be turned on, but you can revert back to this legacy effect all the time. So I, I'm not sure if I need to rerun the tool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. Okay, so I'll run it again, and this time you'll see how they all flip together at the same time, which I think is the more common result. You know, it's, it's more expected in my opinion. So they all flip as one. And I think it's a little bit nicer. Pay no attention to this red curve in the center. That's sort of like a debug thing. You won't see that. And uh, yeah, I think that's those are the things I've found some uh, time to uh, work on, which are not available yet, but they will be for next release.